Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, good evening. Uh, I'm so pleased to be back in South Korea, one of my favorite countries. It's such a colorful country. Look at this map. We're in the green part at the top now. Next week, I'm going to spend some time in the purple part, visiting universities. And one day, I hope to visit the blue part, which I gather is very, very beautiful indeed. What a colorful country. The street life is so colorful here in Seoul. What a city. A magnificent, colorful city. And you go out to the countryside, not so colorful, but you see all these funny little plastic dolls around the serious stuff. Why do people put plastic dolls in? And look at this food. This food is so exciting, and there's so many plates on that table, it's physically impossible to reach most of them. Okay? And of course, K pop. I'm so excited by K pop. I love the fact that your boy bands wear lipstick. <laughs> it is so 1970s. Stop calling me cow. Okay? And this guy is the first Korean ever to appear in People Magazine's Most Beautiful People. And of course, you've got this boy. I want to see the dance. Come on, let me see the dance. Come on. Okay? Good. The, the Americans are doing it. What's the matter with you Koreans? Okay. I love the fact that he writes English words in his song. Oh, sexy lady. I mean, what great lyrics, right? But you know, more profound stuff. There's more profound stuff in the thinking of Korea. This means, as you all know, after three years in a village schoolhouse, even a dog can recite poetry. That is so deep, so profound, or possibly so completely stupid. But it's probably been said by an old guy with a long white beard. Something like, or possibly an old lady with a long white beard. I don't care. I'm looking everywhere in the streets for somebody with a gray beard, for somebody with gray hair. And there aren't anybody except the American academics, okay? Koreans don't have gray hair. Why? All over Asia, there's a problem, and it starts at the top. The Chinese Prime Minister, the Japanese Prime Minister. Look at this good-looking boy. He's the Prime Minister of Thailand. Even he dyes his hair. The President of Indonesia doesn't dye his hair. He's so embarrassed he wears a hat. <laughs> Don't they realize it's possible to be a head of state with white hair? We have a great example in the Western world. Bill Clinton. And for women, what a great role model. Uh, Meryl Streep with white hair, and I just wish Bill Clinton wasn't looking at her like that, because, you know, it doesn't do your reputation any good, okay? And you go to Hollywood. You go to Hollywood, you get these people, I think you get these people in Hollywood. Hollywood! Yeah, okay, this guy wanted to be the leading man. They gave him his first part in a leading a film, and they gave him a hairdryer as a gun. I mean, how bad is that? So he said, I'm going to be a comedian. So he opened his eyes very wide. Still, he wasn't successful until his hair turned white and he became the man we know as Leslie Nielsen. Aww. Frank Drebin, the man with the best lines on television. Like, like a midget in a urinal. I knew I was going to have to keep on my toes. I love that. I love that. <laughs> you know, he made it when he got white hair. Most actors in Hollywood don't realize it wait, it's worth waiting until your hair is white and then, I mean, look at this guy here. Doesn't he look, what a nerd? This guy, that's when he was 13 years old in his high school book. That's when he was 17 years old. Okay, getting a bit better. He decided, I'm going to be an actor. He was an okay actor for a while, but he didn't really make it until his hair turned gray and he looked like this. Oh, ooh, that was good, wasn't it? Wow, it's never worked before. George Clooney is now the most successful actor in the history of Hollywood. That's not actually true, but you know, it sounds good, it sounds like fun. George Clooney is a prime example of it's good to be great. It's good to be great. Don't fight it, guys. Don't fight it. It's okay to be great. Then you go to the world of science. Possibly the finest scientist of the 20th century. Nobody listened to a word he said until his hair turned gray. Who is this man? This, of course, is, thank you, thank you very much. It is Albert Einstein. Didn't work that time. That yeah, didn't work. The man who looks like he puts his finger in the electric plug when he woke up in the morning. The man who would say, an egg which boils in four minutes will boil in three minutes if the kitchen is moving fast enough. What does it mean? It's great. I have no idea what it means. And I don't know what's coming next. What's coming next? What is next? Oh, look at these people. They're so embarrassing. Jagger, Steven Tyler, McCartney. Look at Steven Tyler. He looks like a skeleton with a black wig. And look at, look at Romney, he had grey hair at the beginning of the campaign, and that was last week. 
He is in denial. That man is in denial. Do not vote for that man as president, please, okay? Oh, and now, he, now this is style. This is what I think is style. Look, great beard, great hat, great clothing. This, of course, is ZZ Top, the band. The man in the middle, without the beard, is the drummer. Do you know what his name is? His name is Keith Beard. How weird is that, okay? His, name is Keith, his real name is Keith Beard. This is me. In that picture, I was 23 years old. I had some great ideas. Thank you. I had, some, I had some great ideas about teaching. Nobody listened. In this one, I was 33. I used to stand on stage with some great, nobody listened. Eventually, when I was about 55, my hair turned gray. Now people listen to me. Now people say he's an expert. Your kids here in Korea are ahead of you on this. There are kids, these, are, these are Korean kids, models. They are modeling white hair wigs. It's the way to go. Don't fight it. Be glad to be gray, okay? I'm not quite sure how, I think we're almost at the end. We're coming to the final message, which is change is inevitable. So don't color your hair. Just let it go white. It'll be perfect. And remember that the most successful novel, the best-selling novel in the English language in 2012 is a book called, you know what the book's called? It's coming up any minute now. The book is called Fifty Shades of Grey, okay? If you don't know about that book, I'm not going to tell you because it's very, very naughty. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ken Wilson. I'm glad to be great.